desperately needing a win to keep their tournament hopes alive. The Marquette Golden Eagles hosted the Georgetown Hoyas Thursday night at home. Jake Thomas poured in a Marquette career high with 22, and the Golden Eagles eked one out 75 to 73. I thought our team did a really good job of getting the ball inside when everybody watching at home or on TV knows we're trying to throw it to Devontae. It's not quite as easy as you would think. You don't just run down there and go, okay, here I'm open. You got to try to do some things to get him open, and I thought our guys executed that really well. Struggling with foul trouble Thursday evening, the Georgetown Hoyas had no answer for Marquette senior Devontae Gardner. The big man went 8 for 10 from the field and 10 for 12 from the charity stripe to lead the Golden Eagles with 26 points, 18 of which came in the second half. Gardner was humbled that his teammates continued to feed him the ball during critical stretches in the game. I feel like one of the greatest things ever, that your teammates believe in you all the time. That just feels real great. Another Golden Eagle stole the show early and often, and that was senior guard Jake Thomas. Thomas opened the game with a three-point basket on Marquette's first possession, and he wouldn't stop from there. The Racine native ended up knocking down six three-pointers and was the only Golden Eagle to score from three-point land. The senior, who suffered a partial dislocation in his shoulder last Saturday, decided to don a shooting sleeve in order to relieve some pain. No, I mean, I kind of kind of tweaked my shoulder, so I tried it out and tried it out a couple days ago. And, you know, it looked kind of weird on me, but it felt good, so I, I just kept it. Thomas made the right choice with the sleeve as he hit all three of his second-half three-point attempts to stretch the Marquette lead to as many as seven points. However, Georgetown would claw their way back with 18 free throw makes in the second half. Questionable officiating that led to 20 fouls in the first 10 minutes of the second half set up the double bonus for both teams early. The Hoyas would end up finishing the game shooting 90% from the free throw line, but a late miss layup attempt by Hoya guard Devante Smith-Rivera allowed Devante Gardner to dribble the clock out and seal the Golden Eagle victory for a share of third place in the Big East standings. The Golden Eagles move to 9-6 and six in the conference and will head to Philadelphia this Sunday to take on the Villanova Wildcats. Reporting from the BMO Harris-Bradley Center, Peter Bosch, MUTV Sports.